Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is the battle of the boxes. I have just uploaded a picture to Instagram of this makeup look that I'm currently wearing so if you want to know how to get this look then go over there, give it a like and I could probably do a video on this. I don't know if you're interested in it but I was like feeling blue inspired by this shirt that I haven't worn in about three years. So if you want a video of how I got this look then just go over to my Instagram, give that picture a thumbs up or just pop it down below. Film me please and yeah I'll do that for you. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair up before this video starts because it's getting hot in here. Right, so hair up, let's start with Birch Box. Ooh. Okay, so look how cute this is. Look how cute this is. So this month's box is clearly in collaboration with Kath Kidston. I love this. I love Kath Kidston, but I don't actually own a lot from there because like I love the patterns, but then I just don't need anything from there. So I don't actually own a lot. I think I own like a purse. But I really, really love the design of this. It's just like a rosy, beautiful, typical Kath Kidston vibe, you know? I like it. Okay, so getting straight into the box, I see this thing here, a little bit of foam. This is a baked highlighter by Model & Co, and it's called Moonshine. I'm pretty sure this is a sample size, because it's quite small. Okay, so this is definitely a sample size. Look how itty bitty this is, it's like the size of my eyeball. And inside we have this highlighter that just looks like this. It does look a little bit cheap, I'm not gonna lie, but it's like it's got some good shimmer to it. Let's give it a good old swatcheroo. So there's the highlighter swatched. It is actually really radiant and really pretty. Like, can you see that? It's not glittery at all, which is what I really, really like. That is really luminous and really pretty. I think this would look really good once I've got a bit more of a tan going on this summer because it's just a hair, hair too, like, dark for me. Like, the undertone, I don't know if you can see that. It's just, like, a hair dark for me. But... That's really, really pretty. I think it'd be good for a travel size because if you knew you were going on holidays like the beach and you were going to get a tan, then it's good like a little highlighter just to sort of pat on the cheeks and you won't have to get a full brush in it, you know? It, it's, it's okay. It's an okay product. The next product I've got in here is this one. This is a Lumen or Lumeni Velo Light Overnight Bright Sleeping Cream. This retails for £22.50 and I believe... It's a sample size. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's a sample size, but even so, it's like a good, it's a good size. I forgot to mention the retail price of this. This was £24, which I think even for a full size is quite expensive because I've got Colourpop ones which are practically the same formula and they're like six quid, if that. Okay, so peeling back this little foily bit on the a night cream, it's really, really thick and almost like a yellow colour. I don't know if the camera it will focus. So yeah, it just looks really, really thick. And it smells quite fresh. I've just got a bit on my nose. Brilliant. But it smells quite fresh. Looking forward to playing around with that. The next thing is this. This is the Marcel BB Cream Golden Glow Illuminator. And this retails for £25.50. And I believe this is a Birchbox exclusive, it says on here. I mean, I know it's a BB cream. And BB creams are supposed to sort of blend out your complexion almost. But that is quite orangey toned. It's very, like, nice to touch. But... I don't know if you can see that on the back of my hand, blended out, but it's a little bit like, I don't know, it's not very universal. It also doesn't really smell of anything in particular. Mm. The next thing is this. This is the Kath Kidson Hand Cream and retails for £2.50 and is a Birchbox exclusive. It just comes with the same packaging as the box, so like this lovely floral pattern. Oh, it smells like floral roses, yeah. It smells really nice, it just smells like really rosy sort of floral scent which is like a typical Kath Kidston vibe like when you walk in it just smells just like a lady, you know, it just smells ladylike. And then the last thing in this box is this thing rolling around here, it's this little green tube. So this is a Butanic Beauty Fill and Tame Brow Gel in blonde, brunette or black, so I don't know which one mine is in. Oh, I've got mine in brunette. That's really good because I am brunette. I haven't received a brow gel in a while. Ooh, look at that brush. I love small brushes. Can you just about see that? It looks a little bit like the Benefit Brow Tamer. No, what is it called? Benefit Brow... Like, the one with the brow, like, fibres in. Brow Tamer? No, not Brow Tamer. I don't know what it's called. But it looks like that. Should we apply some now? I love the size of the brush. I love that it's tinted. And it doesn't feel too wet either. It just feels, like, nice and jelly it feels like a good gel formula this product is a full size and retails for £8.60 so I feel like if I end up liking it I don't mind paying £8.60 for like a top up or you know replenishing it so I feel like that's a good price a little bit up there for a brow gel this size but brow gels can be quite expensive for like a good one so I need to test this out a little bit more I do like the packaging I think the mint green well like lime mint green is quite cute um yeah I need to try this out a bit more but I like it and on the glossy box 
I like the card this month. It's really fun and playful with lots of colours on. Okay, so getting into the box, the first thing I see is this big thing right here. This is the Imperial Leather Unicorn Marshmallow Foam Burst and it's a limited edition. It retails for £3.15 and is a 200ml bottle. I actually bought this for my younger cousin because she's obsessed with unicorns and yeah, I bought this for her and well I hope she likes it but I bought this for her because it smells of marshmallows and she likes marshmallows but I think this is a really cute like it's a cute little thing you know I just I don't know it's cute I won't spray it now because it does like foam up but it smells of marshmallow so yeah I actually really like that they've included this in here as well because it's like a different thing to add in and for £3.15 one you can repurchase it and it's not going to break the bank but also including in the box isn't going to break the bank for glossy box either so i feel like it works in both ways like it's a good thing to put in the box it's a good thing to receive it just works out for everyone i like this also before i move on i'll point out that they've gone back to how they used to have their cards with just the products that are for me on the card which is what i wanted without like having everyone's products on there because that was really peeing me off so really like they've gone back to the original card thank you the next thing in here is this this is Effect Cosmetics Matte Effect Transparent Loose Rice Powder. This retails for £9.35 for 10 grams. So this is a full size. Um, and it says press the powder onto your skin while your foundation is still wet with a flat shaped brush or powder puff. So just like any old powder. I don't know if there are any other shades in this powder but I've got mine in transparent. Um, let's see what it like looks like and smells like and feels like. Okay so I thought it's going to be like screw off but it's just pull off. Um, and to stop it falling off they've got like a good sort of flowery rim i don't know if you can see that can you see that like it's got like a flowery rim to sort of give it a bit of grip and then the sifter is like this little star snowflakey sort of uh shape okay so if you get this powder lift it up because there's yet another seal underneath so i want to lift that up okay so that like legit exploded all over me now put the sifter thing back on top okay so it just looks like a normal white translucent powder i'm just gonna like play with it a little bit on the back of my hand Oh, it feels quite thin. It feels a little bit like um, um, Decay's The Velvetizer Powder. It just feels really sort of thin. <laughs> I'm really intrigued to try that out because I have got dry skin. I do like to experiment with different powders. So, yeah, I'm quite intrigued about that. Now, next thing is this. So, this is another Model & Co product, but this looks much bigger. And this is a full-size product at 3.5 grams. And it's got, like, a little... Got like some guy's face on it with a mullet. I don't know why he has a mullet, but why not? This is the Carl Lagerfeld or Lagfeld? Lagerfeld um, and Modeling Co. Baked Blush in Light Beige. It doesn't say how much it retails for, but this is a glossy box early exclusive and the launch date is yet to be released by Model & Co. So we're getting to try this out before anyone else, which is really, really cool. Um, it's very, very shimmery. I don't know if this is going to be a good blush for me or more of a blush topper. As you can see, it's really reflective. Possibly like a highlight if I was a bit more tan. Um, that's really, really pretty. That is, yeah, it's really, really pretty. And the next thing is this. This is the Glossy Box Angled Brush. It retails for £5.50 and it's a full size. Size? It's a full size and it's also a Glossy Box exclusive. The handle is the same shade of pink as the box, so it's really, really pretty. And it feels quite firm as well. Like It feels like it's going to be a good kind of eyeliner brush or it would be quite good if you're doing like a cut crease and want to do some like detail work it feels quite nice and dense so really happy with that i love receiving brushes because you can never have too many brushes my nose man my nose stuffy as hell <laughs> and then the last product is this one this is the ico london fat liquid liner and retails for 16 pounds and this is also a full size everything that we've received today has been a full size which is really really cool and i really really appreciate that so oh my god it's like a felt tip oh my goodness look how black that is can you see how black that is it's not bleeding or anything that is incredible i mean i'm really crap with eyeliner like this took me over half an hour to do eyeliner but that's really good and it's and it's like already dried i mean it's, i just smudged it there by accident but like oh my god okay so that was a really really good box on to pink parcel I feel like we're going to have a theme of healthy living or something. We've got some cool, like, herbal things going on. We've also got a voucher, which we haven't had in a long time. Um, available at Holland and Barrett Boots and Ocado. The multi-tea, green and vitamins. 15% off for tea plus drinks. Um, and I'll just put the code down below where they always are. We still have the really cute pink bag for our sanitary towels. I actually prefer the pink bag to the black bag because it's much cuter. Because, you know, 
why not have a cute period bag? And the first thing I see is my tea bag. So this is the Tea Plus Multi Tea Lemon and Peach Tea. This retails for £3.69 for a box of 15. Um, not really too sure about lemon and peach, but I'll give it a go. And it says it's got vitamins in, so it must be good for me. The next thing is this. This is the Beauty Crop Wing Woman Liquid Eyeliner. This is a full size and retails for £13. I feel like we get a lot of Beauty Crop products in Pink Parcel, which is kind of cool because it's like they're supporting a smaller brand and trying to make, make them bigger, you know? And I also really like the packaging. Okay, so this is called the Wing Woman Eyeliner. It's got a pair of baby angel wings on it, which is really cute and it's very fine nibbed. I don't know if you can just see that there. So let's give this a go. It's nice, it's a little bit watery upon application, but it's like a nice eyeliner, so it's bleeding. It's bleeding. We're gonna have to try this out, I think. The next thing in here is this. This is the Jelly Pong Pong Lip Scrub. This retails for £15 and it's a full size. Again, really, really cute packaging. And it just looks like this, it's kind of got like a see-through sort of plastic tub and this is a coffee and coconut lip scrub infused with pure golden sugar a hoba and rosehip oil to turn your lips silky soft it's got like a foil over it to keep it fresh so i'm not going to peel it back for now because i've already got one on the go and i don't want it to dry up the next thing is this this is the green frog botanic body wash this retails for eight pounds 95 for 300 ml and this is a 50 ml sample so the big one is like six times the size so for £8.95, it better be bloody good because I think that's a lot of money for a body wash, personally. I don't pay more than three to four pounds, so let's give it a sniff. Oh, I tell you what, though. <laughs> that does smell really good. <laughs> it smells so fresh. It's got geranium and peppermint um, and revitalising organic aloe vera. Oh, that does smell good. Mm. I might let it off for the price. The next thing is this box. This is the Catherine Malandrino Style de Paris Purse Spray. And this retails for £16 for 8ml. And this is a 10ml sample, I believe. Yeah, 10ml sample. And it costs £16 for 8ml. How have they worked that one out? Okay, so first off, love the packaging. It's got like this jade green, lime green and gold pattern all over it. Really, really pretty. And it's just like a little spray bottle like that. Let's give it a sniff. Ooh. Mm. That reminds me of someone I don't like. <laughs> Does anyone ever get that? Like, if you smell, smell an aftershave or perfume of someone you don't like, then it just, this doesn't do it for me. Mmm. Someone I don't like wears something like this. <laughs> The next thing is these. These are the Beauty Pro Eye Therapy Under Eye Masks and these retail for £4.95 for a pack of three, which is a little bit expensive. Um, and it just says rich in marine collagen, green tea, aloe vera and vitamins A and E. Place the mask under your eyes to relieve dark circles, tired and puffy eyes. I don't know if £4.95 for three is good or not. Like I, I don't really dabble in eye masks too much, so tell me down below is that good for an eye mask i'm not really too sure but yeah i'm quite excited to use these i actually quite like eye masks i just don't never invest in them because i'm lazy and then finally we have our two little chocolates they look like little pillow chocolates that you get in a hotel and these are the cocoa orange milk chocolates and um, they're bespoke to pp scribers so i don't know if this is going to be a common thing now but they look like little they look like little pillow chocolates <laughs> Okay, so I 100% know who's won it this month, and it's definitely got to be Glossy Box. Like, how could you not like everything in this box? You've got a really cool, funky foam burst, which are amazing and smell amazing. You've got a full-size powder, a full-size eyeliner, which is really black and really pigmented, a full-size brush, which is exclusive to the box, and like this blush topper highlighty thing, so... I'm not arguing. I really, really liked this box and it definitely deserves to be in first place. In second place, we have Birch Box. Now, I put this in second place because a lot of them were samples, but they were good samples. So, we've got this Golden Glow BB Cream, which I think I do need to play around with because it was a little bit orangey, but I think I could make it work. This Brow Gel, I actually really, really like it. It hasn't made my eyebrows go crispy at all, so really really like this so far this little model co highlighter is actually really quite cute um i don't know if it's going to be something i gravitate towards but it's a nice little addition to build up your makeup collection the hand cream is always handy throw in a bag and the night cream well i actually love night creams because it's kind of the only time i really treat my skin in the day so really really like this and then in the last place this week was pink parcel i just wasn't really enthralled by this box to be honest like 
I don't know. I didn't really, I just wasn't really bothered by it. It just nothing really, nothing really did it for me. I don't know. So here are the results that puts Glossy Box into first place with nine points, Birch Box into second with 8.5, and Pink Parcel still in last place on 6.5 points. I feel like this month was really easy for me to tell which one came first, second, and third. It just wasn't hard at all. Um, and there were some definite differences, so yeah, I feel like I was I feel like I was correct with my grading this month, and I feel like it'd be quite difficult to argue against it because well, but because, well, okay, I don't know, it's down to personal preference, but I feel like I'm right. So yeah, I'm going to finish this video because my nose is getting so stuffy. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice, but it's like doing my head in because I can't breathe through my nose. And yeah, it's just that's just quite annoying. I'd like to breathe through my nose if possible. So yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy Battle of the Boxes and you've enjoyed this video. I'll appreciate that too. Remember to go over to my Instagram and like the look I've currently got on my face if you want to see a video on it because I could do that but I don't want to do it if you don't want to see it, you know? So yeah, thanks once again for watching guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! It's very hot in here, okay? It's very hot. <laughs> getting hot in here, so put up all your hair. It is getting so hot, I just want to put my hair up. Why don't I sing for profession? <laughs> wipe. I need a wipe. And it retails and is a glossy and is and this has got coffee and coconut and this is a co this is a co for God's sake. Subscribe button 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 button. Bye. What's this? When have I ever done this? When have I ever done this?